Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today we are talking about rejoicing in the midst of suffering. Let's start off by reading Matthew chapter 5 and verse 12 together. The verse says, Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus teaches us to rejoice and be glad in the midst of persecution. Now, let's be real. That's not exactly the natural response when we're facing difficult times. Our instinct is to fight or to flee or to complain or just to despair. But Jesus calls us to something different, to find joy amidst suffering. So how do we do that? How do we find joy in the midst of persecution or any other difficult circumstances? Well, the key is to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is our source of joy, and as we look to him, our hearts can be filled with gladness, no matter what we're going through. But what does it mean to look to Jesus in this way? It means to remember who he is and what he's done for us. It means to meditate on his love and his grace, even in the midst of pain and hardship. It means to trust that he is with us always, even when we can't see him or feel his presence. When we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus in this way, we begin to see our circumstances differently. We begin to see them through the lens of his love and his grace. And we realize that even in the most difficult trials, it can be used for our good because we know that God is working all things together for our good according to Romans 8, 28. And that our suffering is producing in us an eternal weight of glory that far outweighs any temporary pain, according to 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. So let's fix our eyes on Jesus. Let's remember who he is and what he's done for us. And let's trust that he is always with us. And as we do, our hearts will be filled with joy and peace, even in the midst of persecution. For we know that our reward in heaven is great and that we are blessed to be called children of God. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo.